okay. So <clears throat> I don't I didn't post anything yesterday, did I? I thought I'd give you a break because I didn't really have anything to say. Nothing really was going on. Diva got picked up today. Um, she was good this morning. She went straight to the door. And I took her out and she went potty. But then right before she left, she beat on the carpet <laughs> in here. Um, I'm not telling her owner that. There's going to be hit and miss stuff. Potty training is definitely not an exact science. And getting a dog who's three years old and has never gone outside to going regularly outside this past week for the most part. I think we've only had two accidents the whole time. I think I did a pretty good job. So I was thinking about quarantine because we're all thinking about that, right? And what we're doing, what we're not doing. And quarantine and like loneliness, um, it's, it's hard when you're like, you're stuck with who you're stuck with. Like I'm here with my mom and my daughter and she is 3000 miles away from her fiance. So that's been tough for her, you know, but she's got like him to go back to when it's time and we can go back to California. She's got that to look forward to. Um, but yeah, it's still hard to like not have that person around just for the physical touch factor, you know? Like that's, I think a lot of people are feeling that, mm, you know, like we've had no contact with anybody for a while. So I think there's a mixed bag when it comes to that. Like uh, if you're stuck with your, <laughs> your significant other and you're having like too much together time and you're ready to kill each other, there's, there's that. And then if you're like stranded somewhere and you're like apart from your partner, there's that. That's going to be hard. Um, and then there's those of us who are single at this time and are perhaps, you know, doing the dating site thing. I've noticed and I am, I, I have been doing that. <laughs> Haven't um, been doing it a lot, but you know, I'm talking to somebody and that's been really cool, but we can't just meet up, you know, like even if I was in, well, A, I'm, I'm dating or talking to people in California or a person because I am not going to date here in Florida and start anything with somebody because I'm not staying, I'm leaving soon. So I decided to cement that by, yeah, opening my profile and having it be in California. <clears throat> I let people know that I'm not actually physically there, but it kind of worked out because, um, everybody has to kind of take the time to get to know each other and can't just meet up unless you're taking, you know, unnecessary risks. But yeah, you can't just like text for a couple days and then meet up and have a drink and see how things are. So you continue. I, I've noticed there's a lot of people on their profiles, um, back a few weeks ago before I stopped really looking, um, that a lot of guys had written, you know, like, hey, it's, you know, quarantine, so let's just get to know each other. Um, I think that's kind of a cool thing in a way. It's, it's sort of forcing something that usually a lot of, at least on my side of things, a lot of men don't seem to want. You know, they're like, I'm not looking for a pen pal. You see that a lot in, uh, in profiles. I'm not looking for a pen pal, so don't, you know, don't respond if you're not planning on dating or meeting up soon, that kind of thing. And I'm like, eh, okay. Um, I, cause I was t intimidated when I first started online dating like years ago, you know, um, like the first time I tried it, I got, I would like talk to somebody for a while and then they'd want to meet up and I'd get kind of scared and like bail. Um, and then I, I finally did go out with one person who was like, he was like, just go out with me and have a good date so that you'll have had a good experience. It's no pressure, you know, like whether or not we have chemistry doesn't matter. Let's just like go and have a good time so that you can like, you know, just get, get over that fear. And we had an awesome date and we found out that we had the same birthday, which was really cool. And we just kind of, it didn't turn into anything, but we're still friends. And that was like years ago. So that's really awesome. So, uh, he, he's the one that like encouraged me to start like actually going out with people. 
that I talk to. So I've had, you know, mixed experiences with that. Some, some good, some absolutely horrible. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's kind of cool that like, regardless of where I am, the person I'm talking to would probably have to wait a while to meet me anyhow. And that's, an, that's fostering, um, taking it, you know, taking it slow and getting to know each other really well. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting, uh, if we decide to meet, which I think we're going to. Should I even be making this video? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like when we meet, it's going to be like, we already know each other so well. So, um, yeah, it'll just be interesting to see what it's like in person. But it won't be this whole, like, oh, tell me all about yourself. Tell me, because we, we know it'll be like, we'll just continue the conversation that we've been having for the last however long now. Because, um, yeah, I don't know how much longer it's going to be before I get out there. I hope it's going to be soon. I, I don't think it's going to be right now. Obviously, we're, we're kind of stuck here. Travel's not really safe. 